The OWTU warns the country could see strike action by Petrotron workers early in the new year. The union says it will serve strike notice on Petrotron next Wednesday. The union's leader, Ansel Roger, says only then the nation will understand the contribution of oil workers to keep this country running. He advises motorists, fill up your tanks. Melissa Dasrath has more. Petrotron workers will go on strike. An OWTU President General, Ansel Roger, warns that fuel pumps could run dry. For two consecutive periods of negotiations, 2011 to 2014 and 2015 to 2017, Petron's offer stood firm at 000. Once the conciliation period for negotiations has expired on January 3rd, 2017, workers intend to walk off the job. Wednesday morning, bright and early, we are going to serve official strike notice on the Petroleum Company of Trinidad and Tobago. When the workers walk out the refinery, when the workers leave the producing fields, when the workers leave offshore, and all of them gather under their strike camp, which strike camp they will, will house them for the next three months, when that occurs, it is only then everybody will recognize the importance of the input of those workers all along. OWTU and Petrotron executives met at the Ministry of Labor and Small and Micro Enterprise Development for 16 hours, after which there was no change in Petrotron's position on wages, bonuses and allowances. OWTU is demanding 10% and Petrotron has not budged from zero. The fourth and final conciliation meeting is to be held at the ministry's head office next Tuesday. If there is still no end to the stalemate by then, the country must brace for the worse, as production of diesel, gasoline and jet fuel will come to a standstill, and the strike could last up to three months. So we also want to, to warn and advise that the motoring public shall take uh, precautionary measures and fill up as much as you can. Do all, as much motoring as you can between now and then. Because when that time comes, we cannot guarantee you a reliable supply of fuel. Mr. Roger said fuel is the blood of the country and warned that once workers shut down Petrotron, the economy will also shut down. Melissa Dasroth for C News.